When the Manitoba Japanese Canadian Cultural Centre was established in 1987, at its first site at 936 Logan Avenue, the Board of Directors knew exactly who to ask to organize the daily activities for the community. Recently retired at the age of 68, after 52 years in the garment industry, Connie Matsuo was a natural pick for the Volunteer Cultural Centre manager position. Connie was the first person to arrive in the morning and the last person to leave at night. She devoted all her energy into making the Cultural Centre the success it is today. She organized many of the fundraising activities at the Centre, especially the Japanese cuisine events. Fully bilingual, Connie was often called upon to translate documents and to interpret for visitors from Japan. Due to her work with the Centre, Connie was asked to join former Mayor Glenn Murray as part of the official Winnipeg delegation to Winnipeg's sister city, Setagaya, Japan. After volunteering seven days a week for 22 years, Connie retired in August of 2009 at 90 years of age. Her only regret from her years at the center was that she couldn't convince the board of directors to build a bedroom for her in the back of the center so she could be there 24 hours a day. In any way, if I can help, I like to help out the Japanese community. So I'm always there pitching in with something. I can say that I'm proud to be a Japanese Canadian. Uh, I'm the type that I like to keep my Japanese heritage and Japanese culture. And I really think of the Japanese Canadian future. Connie passed away on March 18th, 2014 at 94 years of age. In 2014, the Board of Directors named the Center's front hall the Connie Matsuo Hall, in honor of her many years of guidance, hard work, and dedication to the community. In 2021, the Nellie McClung Foundation posthumously named Connie as one of their Manitoba 150 Trailblazer Award recipients.